Hello everyone. Here we have got an algebraic equation with fractional powers to solve. Let us see that how do we solve this equation. To solve this equation, first we notice that there is a negative power on the right hand side that is minus 1 by 4. To remove this negative power, we multiply whole of the equation by x raised to the power plus 1 by 4. This results in an equivalent equation as 6x raised to the power 3 by 4 into x raised to the power 1 by 4 is equal to 7x raised to the power 1 by 4 into x raised to the power 1 by 4 minus 2x raised to the power minus 1 by 4 into x raised to the power 1 by 4. The indices after multiplication get added and the equation becomes 6x raised to the power 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 7x raised to the power 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 minus 2x raised to the power minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. After the addition of fractional indices, the equation becomes 6x is equal to 7x raised to the power 1 by 2 minus 2x raised to the power 0. Here we can represent x on the left hand side as root x square and bring all the terms on the left hand side to get an equation in the form as 6 into root x whole square minus 7 root x plus 2 is equal to 0. It can be observed that this equation is a quadratic equation in root x and the value of root x can be given by quadratic formula and it can be represented as root x is equal to minus minus 7 plus minus under root minus 7 whole square minus 4 into 6 into 2 all divided by 2 into 6. This is simplified as root x is equal to 7 plus minus under root 49 minus 48 divided by 12 and further it can be simplified as root x is equal to 7 plus minus 1 by 12 and this gives us two values of root x which are 8 by 12 and 6 by 12 and simplifying these values we get the values of root x as equal to 2 by 3 and 1 by 2. Squaring both the sides, we can get the value of x as equal to 4 by 9 and 1 by 4. It can be verified from the original equation, though it will be a little bit tricky, that both 4 by 9 as well as 1 by 4 satisfy the given equation and hence these are the solutions of the given equation. Thanks for watching.